All right, again, guys. So it's um, it's Friday night, and um, you know what I like to do on Friday nights? I like to look at some baseball cards. Now I want to show you the 1953 top set. When I was young, and I showed you this book before, I, um, you know, I had this book as a kid. And man, this thing is just beat to crap and back. I looked through it constantly. And uh, when I first spotted this card here, man, I just had to have that thing. I don't know why, it just appealed to me. And of course, that was totally out of reach forever and ever and ever. But I did finally get one, you know, years later. So I'll start with my favorite card in the set, the Willie Mays. This is um, a really nice one, you know, it presents really well. These are hard to find without, uh, usually they're pretty beat. Then my other favorite card in the set is the Satchel Page. And, man, they're all my favorites. <laughs> Here's Bob Feller. Monty Irvin. How great are these cards? Love the 53 top set. Who doesn't? Ralph Kiner. Led the league in home runs his first seven years. And there's a guy on here who probably knows that they brought in Hank Greenberg at the end of his career to mentor him. And he did a good job because he led the league for seven straight years um, in home runs. We have uh, Mickey Mantle. Jackie Robinson. Yogi Berra. I remember when I was young, I went to, um, my mom took me to some, one of those, you know, old like revolutionary war homes or um, <clears throat> kind of those little, weren't really hotels, but they were places that uh, people would stay when they come through. Um, I think it was old Hannistown or something. It was in Pennsylvania. And uh, when we got there, they had a big outside flea market and somebody had this card and they wanted like 20, 25 bucks for it, which was a lot of money at the time. And I couldn't ask my mom uh, to pay that much. So I just stood there and stared at it for a long time. And I always wanted that card. And it took me like 40 years before I finally got my hands on one. But this is the great Yogi Berra. Got another Ralph Kiner. This is uh, Elroy Face's rookie card. Early win. This is a short print. A tougher, tougher card. Dom DiMaggio. Got <clears throat> Warren Spawn. Eddie Matthews. I always like this card for some reason. I believe it's a double print and, and they're easy to find and not very much money, but I always like this Gus Zernal. Johnny Sane, Minnie Minosa, oldest man to hit safely in a game, Dick Grote, this is his second card, 1952 is his rookie card, <clears throat> Johnny Mize, Ted Klazuski. And this is, this is a beautiful looking card. This is a Billy Lowe's. I actually had two of these. I had a five, and this is a three. But um, the three is nice. It was nicer to me, so I kept the three, and I, I sold the uh, five. I don't sell too often, but every once in a while, I'll uh, sell a bunch of cards so I can buy some new ones. Allie Reynolds. Ed Lopat. This is uh, Johnny Padre's rookie card. It's a pricey card. Phil Rizzuto. This is another card. It's just like a classic card that I just remember seeing. And it's Gus Zernal. Uh, I'm sorry, Gus Bell. Gene Woodling.
we have Bob Del Greco, Gil McDougal, Clem Labine, Al Rosen, like that one too, Preacher Rowe, Dutch Leonard, oh, Peanuts Lowry, gotta love that name, Don Hoke, Dizzy Trout, Hank Thompson, I think he ran into some legal problems. I think he was a good ball player, but he had off the field issues, I believe. Uh, Sherm Lawler. Cool card. We have Billy Pierce. Dale Mitchell. Another great nickname Puddinhead. Puddinhead Jones. Great defensive third baseman. Just a few more here. Ended up with a lot of these cards from this year. And, well, we have this one here. And then I'll finish up with the Andy Carey rookie card. And back in the early 2000s when they first started putting, like, inserts and autographs, um, I pulled, you know, a remake autograph of this. I have it up in the display, actually. And I, I had never seen the card, and I wasn't familiar with him. But So at the time, I wasn't all that excited to get that card. But it was such a cool-looking card. Um, so, I, you know, I searched for and picked up. The original to go with it so that's it for now hey thanks for watching have a great weekend